My name is Chris Kirsch, and I work on the Metasploit team here at Rapid7. Today, I'd like to give you a brief introduction about what Metasploit is. And if you're reading the papers every day, then you're probably seeing a lot of reports of companies getting hacked. So why are they getting hacked? Well, basically, because the attackers are getting past the defenses. So how do you test that your defenses are actually working? Well, there is a technique called offensive security or penetration testing that you can apply. And that enables you to safely test the defenses uh, and see if they hold up against an attack. So Metasploit is a solution th that does exactly that. And um, Metasploit started out as an open source project. And there are three editions that I'll walk you through because it can be a little bit confusing when you're first getting into this uh, topic. So Metasploit Framework is the open source version of Metasploit. That's how it all started out. Uh, it's now led by Rapid7. Uh, we're collaborating a lot with the open source community, getting a ton of content here. So thank you very much if you're one of the collaborators. And Metasploit Framework is a command line only version. It's uh, free and open source. You can download it um, at any time and, and use it. Typically, the people I see using Metasploit Framework are the more advanced users, typically even developers that are creating new exploits and testing them out, tweaking a lot, so very deep down in the technology. If you're just starting out with Metasploit, then Metasploit Community Edition might be the better fit for you. So for example, if you're a student or a professional who would like to get into penetration testing, then here with Metasploit Community, we've got a free version. It's free for private use and for commercial use. And it includes a graphical UI that will walk you through some of the steps. So great place to start. If you want to get more serious about penetration testing and offensive security, then I recommend Metasploit Pro, which is the fully featured version. Uh, it's the commercial version that we offer at Rapid7. And uh, there is also a seven-day trial available if you want to try it out. So uh, what does Metasploit Pro offer you that the other editions don't? Well, there are a few different things. Uh, and let me summarize. So first of all, usability. Uh, with Metasploit Pro, you, for example, have some wizards that help you uh, through uh, penetration tests, for example, the quick pen test wizard is a great place to get started. Um, then also, we have some productivity features for those people who are already very familiar with Metasploit and might have been using the Metasploit framework before, but are now uh, reaching the limits of how large a pen test they can do with Metasploit framework. So here, it's all about data management, all about workflows and productivity, uh, and we have a lot of features in there. If you're running a vulnerability management program with a vulnerability scanner such as Nexpose, then you might get a quite a long list of vulnerabilities in your report. And with Metasploit, you can import the information from these vulnerability scanners, verify that a vulnerability is real and can actually be exploited in your environment, and shorten the list prioritized on what's really important, because those are the areas where your defenses are down and uh, you need to uh, move quickly and fix it. Then also, after you've applied a patch or uh, implemented some other remediation measure, you can validate that the defenses are now working properly. And you can also simulate phishing attacks uh, on your user base to test whether or not your users are susceptible to phishing attacks, or maybe measure progress after you've uh, run a training campaign, for example. And you can also test web applications or audit the passwords. And at the end, you can create reports that will uh, enable you to share the information that you found with your colleagues and with your management so that you can address the issues. You can download Metasploit at rapid7.com. Um, the download includes all three editions. So you don't need to choose before the download. You'll be prompted uh, uh, halfway through when you're inside the UI. And I do recommend that you install it on a virtual machine because the way Metasploit works and the kind of techniques it uses, it conflicts with firewalls and antivirus solutions. So you should use a machine where you can safely switch off antivirus and your firewall. If you're looking for a vulnerable target, then Metasploitable is a great option. It's a virtual machine that's intentionally vulnerable. You'll be able to, um, to test some of the techniques inside Metasploit against this target and see what it actually looks like when you're um, successfully compromising a host. 
And uh, if you're having any questions about installing Metasploit, using Metasploit, and so on, then please go to our Security Street community at community.rapid7.com. You can ask questions there. We've got tons of documentation, blog posts, and so on. And I'll hope I'll, uh, to see you there.